How's it going everyone? Mr. Postal here and uh, last time I talked to you about homebrew games for the Intellivision and we actually looked through the uh, box, the artwork, the overlays and the instruction manual and the, the cartridge itself for Intellivania. It's a cool Castlevania game for your original Intellivision system and that was a lot of fun. I ordered that from IntellivisionRevolution.com back in November. And I also ordered, it was available at the same time, Heli. What's Heli? Heli is Hero, only for your Intellivision system. It's really nice that they're still making video games for these old systems like this. And uh, if you get a chance, pick these up. Because, uh, you know... These things don't last very long. Uh, whenever they go up for sale, people buy them up, and boom, they're done making them. They might not do a second run, start third run on them. So if you're thinking about picking these up, you should do it now. Not wait until you have your complete television collection or something like that. Uh, something that I used to think in the past, but it's like, they're not going to be available. And people are going to just keep bumping the price up higher and higher. Uh, more years you go down the road on these, you're going to end up finding them on eBay for 100 200 bucks. Who knows? You know, things can get really outlandish on there. But uh, we're going to check it out. We're going to check out the box. We're going to check out the cartridge, the artwork, uh, the overlays. And then we're going to fire it up on the olden television and try it out. Well, thanks for joining me. So this is Heli. Just like I showed you on Televania, a very nice box. Hero is one of my all-time favorite games on the Atari 2600. In fact, I still have my cartridge from when I was a kid, which I'm very fortunate to have because that's a pricier game now. And I also have uh, Hero on the Atari 5200. I don't have it on the ColecoVision. I know that one's pretty pricey as well. I have played the Coleco version on emulator. I've never played it on the C64 either, but I think it's awesome that this game is out now. Finally, after all these years for the Intellivision, I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. And I watched Brian's Man Cave play the uh, the Christmas demo of it there back in December. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's unlockable in the game. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't powered this on yet to try it out. But let's see what's in the box. First, let's see what's around the box. And there's some screenshots. Very nice glossy box. Television Revolution does a great job on these. And check out their website. Uh, like I said, the, these games, I heard, aren't available right now, only for the people that order them. I didn't order this one until around January. I ordered in Televania uh, in November. And I didn't order this one until around the end of December or January. But I got them both on the same day, last Thursday there. We'll open it up here. There we go. We got our card from Television Revolution inside. Check out their website for lots of great games, lots of cool stuff. There's a cool color manual. And there's our overlays. Yeah, I do remember watching Brian from Brian's Man Cave play the Christmas edition of Heli where you're Santa Claus trying to save Rudolph or the reindeer and uh, instead of dynamite it was exploding Christmas presents, kind of like Jokey Smurf. And there's the cartridge. Like I said before, re repurposed, reused game cartridges. Until 1979, USA. So, let's go ahead and give this game a try. Let's play some heli. 
Uh, before we get going here, we give credit to, again, the uh, Intellivision Revolution. Uh, you can also find these guys on Atari Age. Uh, the game is by Carlos Madruga. Sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong. Uh, Carlos, published by Intellivision Revolution. Uh, the graphics are really well done. They did a really good job with this. So let's see here. Let's get started and play some heli. Now I did also see in their forums that there is a, I believe it's a Stella game mode that makes it look like the Atari 2600 graphics. I love that music, that is awesome. Uh, top button is your laser, bottom button is your dynamite. It looks really nice. You said before, there's also supposed to be a code to be able to play as Santa Claus. I'll have to play around, see if I can find that, or just put the code in and figure it out on my own. And I don't know what other Easter eggs are in this game. Uh, they said you, you can play it in that Stella mode, Atari 2600 mode. Regular Santa Claus. Could be some other sweet things hidden there. But let me know if you know, because I definitely want to try them all. Otherwise, I'll just uh, sit here and play around and type in all kind of crap like we used to do in the old days on Nintendo. See what we come up with. They did really nice work here. Really nice. I love this game. And the music gets more intense. Pretty sure on the 2600 that light would turn back on. Yeah, I could be wrong. It's been a while. Sneaky snake. Oh, I was safe. There we go. Looks like I'm saving Pitfall Harry there. What up, Harry? What up? Eventually these walls will probably turn to hot magma. Hot magma. Oh, they're over there. There we go. Lava wall just waiting to happen. Oh, shit. That was a little rougher with the disc, but it feels feels very smooth with the disc. Maybe I don't feel like I have as much control as I did with the Atari joystick, but that could just be that I'm used to the Atari joystick. Close, but... Oh! Butthole. Run away! Bye! 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 Uh, blow it up, butthead. I mean, famous. Alright, here we go. I love that music. Take 
takes a very steady hand. Okay, which one was it? Which one was it? There it is. I pushed it. That was really fun. Awesome game. So check out Heli on and televisionrevolution.com. Check out the guys on uh, Atari Age. Loads of fun. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.